Welcome back to Indy Now. It is that time we are back with our friend Christopher Lloyd from the Film Yap, letting us know what's worth seeing in theaters. Hey, Chris, thanks for being here. Thanks. It's always great to be here. And we got a big, big movie this week. Yes, we've heard about this. Tell us about The Batman. So The Batman with Robert Pattinson. I know you're saying to yourself, this is how many iterations exactly. of The Batman yeah. uh, there are, have there been now? Uh, and so here was one that's very grim. It's kind of old school, yet also very modern. Okay. I would call it like a gothic opera. Huh. Uh, it's less about technology. Uh, you know, there's bat gadgets and all that, but it's all kind of more close to the ground, believable. The bad guy is the Riddler, Ooh. who in this case is not this, you know, goofy Jim Carrey guy. He's this, you know, maniacal guy who's killing people and taking them hostage. Oh, my. So it's, it's very grim, and we've got, you know, Catwoman is in here. But it, like I say, it's much more, like, organic and earthy and gritty. I thought Robert Pattinson was great. It's a much more sort of internal Batman. He's not doing, like, the quips and the lines. He's not going for the jokes. Some people have referred to it as emo Batman. Okay. Oh, which, I don't know. Emo I'm not sure Batman. That's, People are saying that as an insult, but it probably is a good description of, okay. of where he's coming from. All right. Um, I liked it. It's three hours long. I know a lot of people are going to sort of balk at that, but um, it did drag a little bit for me around the two hours. But it definitely, if you're a Bat fan, if you're a superhero genre yeah. fan, I don't think you're going to come away from this disappointed. I think yeah. it's it's definitely a, a, a new, bold iteration of that Batman. Really, really, It looks good. good. Great yeah. cast. Yeah. 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 All right, next one we're talking about is After Yang. Tell us a little bit more. Good counter-programming film for the Batman. So this is a science fiction film starring Colin Farrell, but it's kind of like a very like cerebral science fiction, like mm. if you like, like Gattaca or AI artificial intelligence. Um, it's kind of along those lines. Okay. It's about set in the, in the near future where people People have robot companions. In this case, they have a, a brother who's uh, w with the family there, sort of like the companion and big brother for their little girl. Um, but then he breaks, and you know they're trying to fix him, and can they fix him? And it becomes this sort of whole quest for you know what what is Yang really? Is he a member of the family? Is he just a tool? Is he a person? They find out secrets about his lives, things he's been doing when he's not with the family. Wow. So it's just like I say, very sort of contemplative, cerebral sort of uh, look at identity, you know, organic versus artificial. Uh, I enjoyed it very much. Wow, Interesting. after Yang. Wow. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, Chris, what's new on digital and demand? Uh, so first up, we've got Asking For It, which is sort of a, I guess you call it this, a, a feminist revenge drama, okay. thriller, okay. vaguely Tarantino-esque, if I may say. It's about a woman, a wait waitress, who is assaulted by some, uh, some guys from her college. Uh, so she ends up hooking up with these other women who are part of a gang who are taking it back to all these guys who are doing bad deeds. Uh, and uh, it, so this is very much, if, if you're into that whole like, you know, like, you know, like loving male tears kind of thing, that sort of <laughs> meme, okay. this is definitely the movie for you. Okay. I haven't seen this one, but Alec Toombs has a review up on the Film Yap Substack. Go, go check that out. Okay. Is that Vanessa? Um well, who, yeah, uh, Hudgens. Vanessa Hudgens. Vanessa Hudgens, yeah. yeah. Hudgens, okay. yeah. Oh. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that one. I'd All like right. to see that. All right, so on streaming right now as well, Pieces of Her, what's this about? So this stars Tony Collette, one of the just great character actresses of screen. And this, this is on Netflix. It's a, it's a series. It's about, it's in that sort of mystery thriller vein. She plays like a very normal woman who um, uh, has a, an encounter, an event, uh, that ends up sort of revealing things about her dark past, and it brings yeah, all these terrible things in her past. People start coming after her, her daughter, her family. Her daughter goes on the lam, and there's also flashbacks to her life 30 years earlier uh, about sort of this morph, how she became this person, uh, seemingly normal person who very much... So if you see the films like A History of Violence, okay. uh, it's kind of along those veins. Very intriguing, terrific performances by Tony Collette. I highly recommend this one. Ooh, she's that great. That good, too. Yeah, she's yeah. really good. Uh, talk to us about You Might Have Missed. Okay, um, so You Might Have Missed. Uh, a yeah. little slow week for, for theatrical releases because everyone's getting out of Batman's way. Okay. So I have a good time to revisit some films that are out there that maybe you didn't see. Mm -hmm. Attica is a documentary that's up for the Oscar for Best Documentary, and it is out currently. You can watch it for free on most of the big streaming things. And so look at the terrible events of 50 years ago, uh, the worst prison riot and uh, the aftermath. Uh, and just a really great in-depth historical footage, interviews with the survivors today, Super, super insightful. Really makes you take a look at one of those, you know, historical moments that maybe you thought you knew, and can take you in a little deeper and really get you an idea of what happened and that terrible tragedy it was. So, terrific documentary. I'm glad I caught up with it. 
and you can too. Wow. Chris, thank you. You always keep us updated on everything. Thank you so much for being here. My yes. pleasure. Go to filmyap.substack.com or any now after this.